All right, so we want to get back to the story that so many people are talking about, very concerned about that plume out in Rockdale County. And a lot of people are watching and right. wondering what the weather means for what they're seeing in surrounding communities as well. And in some of the press conference, they were saying, you know, during the day, it's easier to be outside. But at night, that's the time when you really want to shelter in place. So let me show you first the plume and then we'll dig into why that is. This is our chopper video from this morning. You see where the plumes originated from and it's stretching along across I-20, but it's not going very high in the atmosphere. Well, to describe what's happening in the atmosphere in the overnights and how those climate conditions are changing, let's talk about two mason jars here. I want you to envision that this is the atmosphere, okay? At the top of each, we have a lid. That's like the top of where the weather can happen in our air. During the daytime, we have a tall jar, but at night, that jar is a little bit shorter. Why does that matter? Let me explain it a little bit differently here. During the day, we have the sun shining, the temperatures are heating up, we have the winds flowing, that's blowing all the pollution through the air, and we have that lid on the jar really high up. That's our boundary layer. But what happens overnight, we have our shorter mason jar. Everything gets smushed down as that boundary layer lowers, and that means all of the pollution all of the kind of smoke and everything is trapped lower in the atmosphere. That's why the last couple mornings we've woken up and there's been that low area of the plume and also some fog in some areas. So the winds turn lighter, it traps everything closer to the ground. And with temperatures and inversion above that lid, we don't see everything scouring out until we heat up the next day. So that's a little bit of why we're seeing that happen each overnight. But during the days, the winds pick up and that helps to improve the air quality. And so today we did start off with kind of moderate air quality this morning. It has improved this afternoon and the winds have been breezy as well. What's going to happen though overnight again is that the winds as we see the sun setting, those are going to start turning a little bit lighter here. So you see our forecast track, the winds turning lighter by 930 tonight and overnight tonight again, pretty light winds. Now what will happen tomorrow that's a little different from today and yesterday is that the wind direction will start to shift. So yesterday, today we had more of this westerly and northwesterly wind. Well, tomorrow it looks like we start to get due north and then due northeast as we head throughout tomorrow. Tomorrow. So that might change where we see the residual plume going into tomorrow afternoon. And as they mentioned earlier in the press conference, it's just going to take until they offload all of that chemical to finally see that plume going away in its entirety.